And we are live. Just waiting for the YouTube to catch up. And it's still waiting. And I'm still waiting. There we go. Now it's gone. All right. So, hi, everybody, and welcome to the show again. Um, I got the page that I was working on done yesterday, and uh, I went looking, and I also found the washi tape that I was talking about. So this is the page, and it's all done, and I put the washi tape on the side, and when you open it up, it says the love story of Emily and James Lee, and you open it up, and it's got the pictures on the top, and it's got the kissing booth, and it's 25 cents per smooch, so basically telling them, fuck her up. That is the middle page with the journaling section. And then you've got the bottom. And it says, these are the days we'll remember. And that's basically it. That's the first page done in the book. Now I'm working on the, going to be working on the back sheet and the next page over. And again, I did the same washi tape on this side and on this side. So I will be adding them in. I just printed off an extra sheet of paper here or more photographs because I wanted them in smaller sizes. I found the ones that I made were too big. And I'm going to be following um, a certain sketch. And I'll show you that sketch in a minute. All right. So the sketch I'm following today, I don't know who made it. I can go looking to find out who it was. But it's going to be with this sketch here. That's the one I'm going to follow. So how it's going to work, don't know yet. I'm still working on it. But I went back and I also took a look and see if I could find pictures that were taken on the same day with the same subject. And hence the reason why I had to print a couple extra sheets because the original pictures that I printed were way too big. So I went back and reprinted them a little bit smaller so that when I do the layout, um, it'll be a little bit easier. And this this is, you're going to find, if you're going to be working with prints, you're going to have to decide whether you're just going to cut them down, whatever size they are, and make the uh, page fit the picture. I decided to make the picture fit the page. So in other words, if I need to print a bigger picture, I print the bigger picture. If I need the smaller picture, then I'll just reprint it, reprint it smaller, and that's what I did. So, yeah, today we have uh, Vanessa joining us in the background and she'll be helping me out with reading the chat and everything because I get so involved I forget. Hi, Steph! I get involved in doing what I'm doing and I forget to look up and check who's actually talking to me and asking me questions. All right, so this is going to go, uh, okay, where's the original picture on this one? Got it. Just, that's this one. This one was the same day. That one, that one. Oh, no problem, Stephanie. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. Because I know you are super busy. Did you ever get your uh, egg started and finished? And then I will also mat these all on the red back, red cardstock, so that they're not so flimsy when you try and put them into the book. All 
All right. so this one here will go with this layout. Then I'll figure out the other ones. This one also goes. Try not to repeat the same picture twice. That's those. That's that day. And this one is actually two different expressions. So that would be. And then I also went and I went and I found my Disney pictures, uh, the Disney paper that I had bought, so that I can start incorporating Beauty and the Beast in this album. And I will show you that booklet in a second. And it is a Disney scene booklet. It's this one here. And I've shown it a couple of times in my lives, but I haven't really sat and used it. So it has the pictures of Disney, of Val that you need to fussy cut out. And then it has different scene pictures. So I'm going to be trying to incorporate. I already pulled out the other two, so I'll show it to you. So there's that one, that one, that one, and that one. And I'll try and incorporate it with uh, Bell as well. Now, uh, okay, so that's this one here. Um, this one here, let's move a little few things around here. All right, thanks for stopping by, Steph. There is this one. That's the bottom scene, and I'm going to do a journaling page referring back to this one, how it has the one picture, and then it's got the two small ones. It's got some kind of ribbon or paper, and then the background on it. So I'm going to try doing it that way. All right, so now this one, keeping with the same th the same theme, Ooh, okay, this one didn't quite work the way I wanted it. Nope, this is not going to work. It's going to have to be on a simple separate. It's this one here that I wanted here. Yeah, there we go. That's that one. Let's make this picture here. And this picture here. Yeah, let's go that one. Okay. Okay. Hey, Em. Hi, Emily. Okay, so I did not end up using that picture before. Okay, so am I using? I think I made a bigger one of this. Did. And this one's bigger too, I think. Try not to use the pictures twice. There we go. I think those two layouts are going to be really good. And, uh, okay, so I'm going to put those together. Because they all have to be put on backgrounds. And I've got to put the flip pages on this. So before I do anything, let's go ahead and do the flip pages on it. Uh, I want to use eight and a half by 11 flip pages. So we're going to use the 12 by 12 because I am out of the eight and a half by 11. So these two sheets. All right. And we need, yeah, eight and a half by 11. And then, nope, eight and a half by 11 and a half because we're going to need a half inch to go in it.
and so I'm going to go just a tiny, tiny, just a little bit up. There we go. All right. So this is going to be our flip pages. And this one's going to be fairly simple. I'm not going to do anything elaborate. Yeah, you got to go to work this afternoon, don't you, Em? All right, so make it easy here. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. So it's that one. Yeah, it's right there. One, two, three, four. So it's going to be on the one and fourth. Yeah, I hate when that happens. And because this is a 110 pound paper, you also have to press a little bit harder to make sure that the, it goes all the way through. All right, and then very carefully bend it backwards. down liking this paper at all finding that it's cracking and it's not supposed to be cracking okay, this one's not bad at all okay so the way we're going to do this is the first one is going to be on this edge which is on the other side of this I am going to uh, figure out where my paper is. gonna let girls know that I'm live. Now the easiest way to do it is to line it up. Um, it's just to kind of stand your paper up, bring this up against it, and just kind of merge the two very gently. And there you go. And you usually end up with a pretty good stick. And, of course, mine had to go crooked. Well, of course it did. Just... Ah, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. It's not that bad. I'll straighten it out this way. It's not going to be 100%, but even when you're making mini albums, it's the same way. There we go. 
go. And I can always fix it up. There we go. So that's the first one. So you're going to have the flip page here. And just go back and kind of burnish it down. And then remember, you're, we're also going to have the middle part in here. Now, there's going to be a photo mat in that. And it keeps coming apart because, yeah, it's not laying fat, but it will. Okay, so that's that one. And then we're going to do this one. This one doesn't go crooked on me. I'm just going to try doing it the regular way, which is to line it up normal. I will not be rebuying this paper. It is horrible. It is just really horrible. I don't know what kind of paper I used the last time, but this one is just cracking all over the place. See, as you can see, it's not the greatest of paper. You would think being the fact that I paid a lot of money for it. But anyway, that's besides the point. All right, so this one's going to be left aside here for a moment, and we're going to work on this one. And we are going to do, now, this is the question, because I'm doing a Disney background. I'm going to be using this one and this one. I'm wondering. Hi, my Diane. Hi, Diane. Hmm. I'm almost thinking yeah it's gonna need to reference back see thinking it's going to need just the red background rather than what do you guys what do you think D do just the plain background as opposed to the paper pack because this is so vivid to begin with hi Lise I'd do just a black just a what? Just a black. Leave it on the black background? Yeah, because the red's going to make the, well, it makes the blue, the purple, and all the other colors pop, too. Let's well, the, the black is the background. Uh-huh. So you got to yeah, put. I would, I would put a little mat on it. Like maybe put this one on the top part? Yeah. Because it makes all the colors in there pop. The yellow one, you don't need a background for that one. You have to put something on the top. I'm not, I don't want to yeah. put. No, but I'm talking about the one with the swans in it. You won't need a background. Oh, that's going to look pretty right there. And then she can add a picture in on a dance floor. No, no, no. The, the, no, I'll do the dance floor later. That'll be, I have more of this. I have lots and lots more of this. 
That's pretty right there. Because this is going to be mostly, it's going to cover it up. I got to do, I want to do, um, from what I can see on the picture, it needs a journaling page down here and then something in the corner, which I'm thinking is going to be Belle. Emily says it would be pretty with the border, with the red. Uh, that's what I'm thinking as well. Cutting this down and cutting this down and using this as just a plain background on there. I'm thinking it's going to need the red because it's going to have to. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought so, but I wasn't hundred percent positive. All right, so I think what I'm going to do here is I think these two both have to go down, and these two have to be cut down to eight and a half by 11, actually a little bit less because I wanted it a quarter inch in. All right, so these two have to go to, I'm going to need four of them because I want them to uh, four match. Need four sheets. Okay, so all of them's going to have to be. Okay, so that's going to be eleven. So you want to go to. Go to eleven less a quarter. So that's going to be. And then it's going to be eight and a half. So you're going to go, all of them's going to go to eight and a half, eight and a quarter. those four and then I need the other two Let's do those ones first, and then we'll tack on the other ones. There we go. Yeah. All right, so we'll fix it on this side first. So. Okay, so that one is perfect. Here. Okay. Yep, that is going to look absolutely gorgeous. Okay. 
And this also eliminates the fact that you don't have to remat the uh, pictures. That's true. See what kind of washi tape I have that might work as a border to split this up. Come to this page first, and then we'll do the other one. Then I've got to do, let's see, oops, okay, that did not work. Guess I'm going to have to fix that other one. this separately. Darn it. greatest of things, but I screwed up. Oh, well. No biggie. It's still going to be beautiful in the long run. Yep. I'll just, now that I know it's going to happen, on the other side, I'm going to go make sure that it, when I put the other one down, I'll cut it beforehand. Okay, so that in this case here, yeah, so it's going to have to be cut down even further. Actually, I think I'm going to do the same on both. I'm going to do the same. No. no I don't make it, so I'm going to cut all of them off an extra half. There, much better. Oh, much better. There we go. Yeah, that's much, much better. I like that. All right. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to worry about it, Em, because it's, it's not going to be noticeable once, because a lot of the times you want to make the pictures your focus. So, I mean, that's the whole point is that you're going to do, you're going to use the background papers to make it beautiful, but it's the pictures that you want it to be focused on. Oops. 
The only thing I wish I had a way of, I know I've got the silhouette machine, but I wish I had the, um, the letter dies so that I can, you know, do a title on this by cutting out the letters, but yeah, do not. Because I think what I'm going to do with this one, is, this side is going to be called Remember When. I think it's the title going to be of this one. So far, so good. Now, i got to figure out how to use this. I'm going to do it here and here. And then I'll put some flowers like I did on the other side. Oh yeah, much, much better. I like that one better. I don't like that gold strip on it. There we go. Now, put the pictures back on here and see how it looks. Sorry. So that's going to have to go over here. screwed up that's this one that's this one it's there there we go now i think it's right yep now i think it's right okay and i'm not liking this I'm not liking these two things i know exactly what i need and i may have to go I have, may, may, have, may have to make it on the computer. Um, okay, let's see here. What do we have? Let us fussy cut one of them. Oh, 
Marina, where'd you get the book, little book from with all the Beauty and the Beast uh, photos in it? Um, it is from a company called XTC Crafts here in Canada. It's made by Disney. And it's from a company called Character World Limited. It's from England. That's real cute. Yeah, I have that. And then I got all the Disney dies too. I'll show you those. I have the character dies as well. I've got Belle as well. Um, I bought this one here with her holding the glass, the rose. Then I've got this one with the four Mrs. Potts and Chip with the rose and the big rose. And then I have the two of them dancing similar to this one here. Marina, the left yeah. side, you have two pictures that the say exact same. Sorry, say that again. On the left page, the left side, you have two pictures that's exactly the same. These two, you mean? No. These yeah. two? No, they're not. It's a different. I thought so too, but he's got a different expression. Take a look at his expression compared to this one. Look. This one he's smiling. This one he's not. He's frowning. So it's not the same picture. I thought at first too until I looked at it again. Ah, did I tell you how much I hate fussy cutting, Emily? And yeah, I know if you were here, you'd be do, doing all these fussy cutting. Uh, this is what I hate because now my hands are locking up, or my fingers is what I should say. I'm going to take a look because I'm not, these are, I don't have very many pictures of Belle. This is the only book. All the other ones are just die cuts that I have to die cut out. I have yet to open them. I bought them specifically for this album. Um, Ecstasy Crafts sent me an email just after Boxing Day saying that they were putting these on, on sale. I ended up paying them, paying the die cuts. They're normally like 20 and $30. I ended up paying them about $2 American. So wow. I was, heck, heck yes. Heck yes. I would say bonus. Yep, that's exactly what I did. That's why I grabbed them. I'm like, okay, this works think yeah I might do this one because see I'm thinking I'm almost thinking oop, I see I'm gonna do it differently I'm gonna put those two on that side and she is oh darn it they're all the same way oh well Yeah. <laughs> You're jealous of what, Emily? You're getting this. The dies. Oh, the die. Ah, no, she can't say she's jealous because I sent her a text message asking her if she wanted me to buy her a set. She said no. So. I am. She cannot be jealous. 
But I can. You can, yes. Oh, actually, not Boxing Day. It was, um, what's the one that's earlier? Uh, Black Friday, Black Friday. They sent a, an email just after Black Friday saying that they put these on sale for, well, three fifty Canadian, which is about 2 bucks American. They were trying to get rid of them. They had Mickey Mouse. They had the Belle. They had Cinderella. There was a whole slew of them that they had that they were trying to get rid of. Ha ha, M, do that, Dab. What did she say? What? Oh, huh? It's a dab symbol. You put your head on your elbow and you put your other arm straight oh. up. <laughs> That's a dab. Just sigh. All right, there we go. So I think this is going to be here. See, I think this, it's going to need, like under the big picture, see over here and over here, it's going to need, no, this is not going to work. It needs something to cross the paper. It's got two of them in it. That's too thick. Wait a minute. This might work. You may have to. Why is this not working? I think I know what it is, too. I think it's because the, the way the pictures go, it's supposed to be like this. Okay, so this is that. These are too big. These pictures are too big. That's what's bugging me. So. And I can't do anything with it because it is. Okay, I got an idea. Screwed up. She said to put the picture, that picture under the, the other pictures. Here you mean? No, 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 no. It's designed that the pictures go side by side like this, but I got, I got an idea. Hang on. I got an idea. Because this is supposed to go down like this. See, it's supposed to go like that, and it's supposed to go like this. It's supposed to, like that. And then it's supposed to, there. And then that's going in like that, and in like that. So now you've got how big of a mat here. So I think it looks like it's an inch. It is an inch. It's an inch. Okay, so with it being an inch... Uh, where's my right. Marina, she said try to put the lace under the pictures. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna it's gonna go under the it's gonna go under the, the um Yeah, just 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 bear with me for a minute.
just a little FYI, guys. The red on StreamYard is a little bit more vibrant than the red on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut this a different way. I'm gonna have to use this cut. This one. There we go. And then this has got to go. There's my ruler again. And my ruler. So it's exactly eight inches. I'm going to fix it is it's going to go this way, right? Like that. that. Okay. And then this is going to go, the base is going to go, and I got to turn the iron on. Base is going to go here. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Yeah, but it's not wide enough. Uh, it's too wide, I mean. Yeah, it's only one inch. <laughs> but wait, there's more. It's only $9.99. But wait, we're going to add in a couple more things. All right, I am going to just quickly turn on my iron so I can find the release. is a bit smaller.
picture there. Picture there. I like it without a title. I don't think it needs a title. Yeah, I like that. And then I think it needs the um, the half shell, the half life, the half circle, half circle. Um, lines. A half circle note lines, journal lines. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, it needs the half circle here. And then maybe some flowers or something right here. I don't think it needs any. It, need, it does definitely need the lace. That much I do know. <laughs> and I think too I'm going to map these in red because they're not showing up very well so and then maybe what I'll do is I'll put a title on the front page of this booklet have just enough fabric tack to, to be able to put it on. You definitely want to use fabric tack for this part because our glitter glue does not bond well with fabric. Okay, actually. Okay. 
Ah, I just got fabric tack all over me. What else is new? Yep. I learned the hard way too when everything just kind of fell apart. All right, so now while that dries, I am going to fussy cut out the other two pieces that I'm going to use, and then I'm going to map them all on red. And I will show you something that you guys may not know how to do. I also have to, before I put the pictures on, I have to make... cut these guys out and the fabric tack won't take long to And then, M, if you want, you can always add stuff to the pages. I mean, you're not limited to keeping them exactly the way I make them. You know, if you want to add a title or if you want to add something on there, you know, you're more than welcome to do so because it is your album. Okay, yeah, I think I want to do that one page. <laughs> All right, so I got to add in texture drop on.
There we go. All right, so that is going to be printing. Um, so now I've got to mount that on red. But I don't want to, yeah, I got to do it on the same red. All right. Do I have enough? I don't think so, but I can sure make sure I can see. The biggest one I think is going to be this. Oh, it works. It works. All right. So let's put it on there. Let me do this first before I get rid of all those, those reds. Now I think I pretty much lost it. Yep. Now I'm not going to be able to find it. Huh. Great. And I have no clue where I have more. Nope, there's none in there. None in there. Maybe. I've got to get some more of these stainless steel pins. I only have one container and I just went blue and went flying. All right.
Now, some people think that this step is not necessary, but you'll see how it will make a big difference in it popping right on that page. And then very carefully just go around it. Just a little bit of a border. You don't have to leave a lot. Just enough for it to show. There you go. See? Just enough of a border. So what's everybody working on? Let me know. Curious to know what everybody else is doing. I know Emily's getting ready for work. And I know Vanessa is basically doing her own projects and reading my chat. But what are you guys? Let me know. If you're looking back there, just pop in and say hi. Oh, no, that one I want to save. Might be able to use it for something else. Scraps are always the good thing. Especially when the paper is expensive.
labels for organizing drawer system that I have in my craft room studio bedroom. Oh, that's a good idea, Vanessa. Sorry, my scissors are starting to squeak. I guess maybe I'll have to oil them. Show you what a difference that is going to make. Let's grab these. All right, so whereas before you could barely see it, now look, it just pops on that. See, you can actually see where it is. But I see that I didn't go far enough in here. Those are awesome. Yeah, it just gives it that little extra. A little um. Yeah, yeah. There we go. It's not the greatest. All right, much better. There we go. See, it gives you just that enough, enough to, to let it pop. Now, uh, got printing paper here. I'm wondering. Hmm. I need a big circle. I don't know if I brought out my circle punch. Okay. 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 No making craft lunches today. <sighs> I know. I try not to, but we'll see. Yeah, I, yeah, it might be a bit too big. I know it's easier said than done, right? That one I like, like this. Mm. Yeah, exactly. We all do that. Pile on top of pile on top of pile. All right.
And there are my journaling cards. Straight and simple. Oh, okay. So now... is approximately four inches so the two inches right in the middle here Now I've got plenty of different journaling things that I can use on different spots in the book. pretty much dry. One here and one here. And that. Nope, these two are going to be, I thought I had a feeling that was going to be the case, but I wasn't 100% positive. <sighs> I had a feeling we were going to have to mount them.
Oh yeah, much better. And let's get those ones. So these first couple of pages are going to be with pictures, but the rest of them, I think maybe are going to end up just being photo mats, but we'll see how long these pages take me to begin with. Because I know after these ones comes the engagement pictures, and then after the engagement pictures comes um, when they do, um, when they pick out their tuxedo and go their uh, dress shopping and stuff. thinking I don't like it like this so far. I don't like this. There we go. Much better. Yeah, I like it all opposite. Hi, Miss Wendy. Hey, Wendy. Wendy, are you going to be up for a bit? Because I want to do some... Uh, Find out what this week's daily is and get some uh, the things from uh, this week's done. I'm not sure if Melissa's going to come on or not, but I wanted to get some of the, the runs done today. Not right now. Maybe in about an hour. Because uh, right now I'm still working on this stuff. Yeah, and I think once I get this done, I think down here will be some um, some just pretty flowers, some kind of flower bouquet. So what do you think, guys? How does it look? Awesome. Came out nice, didn't it? Okay, Miss Wendy says, sure, and move the bell on the right back over to the far right and move the bell on the right back over to the far right move her oh yes 
You're right. You're right. You're right. Thank you. And just in case anybody is wondering why she called me Moon, because that's my character in game. And that's how we know each other for the last nine years, I think it is. So I don't go by a different name. Well, she knows my name and everything, but it's just easier for her to remember my character name. Because 99% of the times, so that's how we talk. I'm going to do it here. Because yeah. I kind of got one small idea on this part. It may or may not work. use fabric tack on this part. Yeah, I think I will. Ah, you suck. Damn it. It's the only thing I hate about fabric tack. It gets everywhere. Wendy said she knows you since 2008. Yep, there you go. See? I knew it was 11 years. There we go. I was way off. Oh, Wendy, I found my Disney stuff. Now I'm waiting for your the stuff that you're going to be sending me. Oh, no. Don't tell me I did it again. Yep, I did it again. I lost my... Your pen? The pen. Look underneath the page. Yeah, I will in a sec. Nope. No? Might have fell on nope. the floor. Be careful when you may, go. Yeah, may I have fallen on the floor again. Guys, I uh, found it. Guys, if anybody knows anybody that makes these damn pins with the stainless steel, not the ones that Emily made, because the ones Emily made were not stainless steel and they rusted. I'm looking for the ones that are stainless steel that does not rust. I make them. With the, the non-stainless steel? Yes. No. With oh, sorry, the with the stainless steel, steel that don't, doesn't rust? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you um, send me what how it is that you make it please and uh friday i will order it from you because this is driving me nuts that i'm constantly losing this damn pen i think it's is i don't have a sample because i sold them all well um it's basically easy it's an eye pen with chain hanging down from it with different um beads on it no yeah, with different breed with different beads on them exactly mm -hmm. But it's the eye pin itself that I can't get my hands on. Let me see if I can order some. And I'll get back to you on that one. Okay? Yeah, because I can make it. I've got tons and tons of beads. I just don't know which one, which pin it is that I need to buy in order that it fits into this darn thing. Because I, I love the one Emily made me, but it's not stainless steel, so it rusted through. Okay. 
And in case anybody is wondering, it's the pin that goes on this one. This is the same one that, that I told you to order, Wendy. You're going to need, um, if you keep losing the pins like we do, yeah, you're going to need what I want to have made. Or make it myself if I can get the correct uh, pins. Okay, I'm going to send you the link. All right. And you get 300 in a pack. All right, give me a minute and I'll go take a look. Because I have got so much... Um, I've got a lot of beats. But dying thing, you got to be careful with the stainless steel. They're very, very fragile. They've been very, very easy. Yeah. Because they're only like a, not even a quarter inch in diameter. So, and they're one. Well. Quarter inches high so yeah well, that's why you don't make them like if they're three inches four inches long you cut them down to exactly. a manageable amount a manageable length so that they don't bend that badly when you put them on mm -hmm. when you put them because this one is only um what an inch and a quarter that's it that's all you need an inch and a quarter plus maybe a little bit more to go up to, to accommodate the beads that's it to me i don't want it touching the glue itself because the glue with uh have i don't know why because i don't i never let my glue touch the tip of the pen because it, every time you let it touch the tip of the pen well yeah it, it's a lot of the pens if you don't use stainless steel the pen will rust yeah it'll get in your glue and it'll turn your glue brown. but the thing is you're not you you're not going to be able to prevent that like this one no matter what does not rust so if that if the one you link me has the possibility of rusting as it touched the glue then it's no good to me no they're all stainless steel i use only stainless steel all right i don't um all I right, take a look at this, you guys. So this is the first layout page is done, except that I want to put some kind, and I think I'm going to use, that's what I was saying. I think I'm going to use this that will match up. There you go, Em. There we go. When you order the pins and make sure it says Stanley Steel on it. Because if it doesn't, it's going to rust. Yeah. And you don't want that. I mean, you can stick it in your Fabri-Tac bottle top tip, your art glitter glue tip, your any glue that you have that has an opening on top. You can stick a stainless steel eye pin in it, and it will not rust. Trust me, I've been there and I've done it. <laughs> I'll make the one with the charms on it. Yeah, that's the ones that I want to make or buy. Oh, that'd be pretty. I mean, I use a regular, uh, what is it, uh, sewing pin to clear the chamber where the glue comes out. But otherwise, 
everything, all my needles that are printed in it is stainless steel. I don't go. All right. Through. Now, <laughs> look at that. See? That's pretty. This came, this came out absolutely amazing. That tape with the red looks like a Chinese, uh, the Chinese, the little Chinese, um, Gr Griff glyphics, but it's not, it's roses. Yeah. See? It's roses. No, but the, from far away. Yeah, from far away. Yeah. It looks like that. And then over here, I'm going to put like some kind of a bouquet of flowers. Uh, some something like something like that but i'm gonna i have to see what i have there's um there's a few things i can put in here okay and this is driving me nuts so let's put a little bit of glue washing tape doesn't stick to well. i know and i usually put tape underneath it uh glue underneath yeah, it i mean it'll, our glitter glue will make it stick though yeah but i don't with the fabric well, that's what i did to the sides i'll show you what yeah. i'm talking about like when I did it on the edging here, I put a, a row of uh, the art glitter glue first. Oh, I think this came out amazing. Out that has the same ingredients as art glitter glue, and it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, I know. I the barely glue. I took a look no, at that's it. That's a different one. Oh, okay, because barely glue the is the other thing that. Ooh, okay. This I do not like. Hmm. How do I fix this now? Okay. Um, oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Hang on. Miss Wendy says you may want to get a magnet. Nope. Nope. Holder. Nope. That's okay. I'm going to do. Do you like. No, a magnet to hold your pen on your art glitter glue bottle. Uh, yes, I tried that. And uh, I have no way. Like I tried putting a magnet. They put a magnet right here that when you take it out, you're supposed to go like this, but it still came, kept coming off. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I was like, screw that. All right. So this one here, what do you think if I put, I love it for when I'm making sewing, quilting, and print ornaments. Wow. Yeah, you can use them with the uh, hook, Christmas ornament hooks, too. Okay, you know what I just realized? This is... Uh-oh. No, it, it's going to be awkward because when you put it in the book... Okay, um, I'll show you what I'm talking about, and I think I may have to... See, when I put it in the book, this is the idea works, Okay. Okay, maybe it won't be so... Okay, so this has got to go this way. So then when you open it, yeah, it, it's going to work. Because the idea is you put your hand underneath. You don't lift it up this way. You put your hand underneath mm -hmm. and help it move along like that. Yeah. See how it, it ends up... It ends up alligating open. I would encase it in some plastic or something. Just well, no. The, that's the whole point of... Uh, that's the whole point, Vanessa, is not to use plastic. Oh. No, I just, I'll know for when I do the future ones, I need to leave a quarter of an inch in here so that it lays flat. Because right now what's happened is I popped it up and I didn't give it enough room over here. Hey, you live and you learn, right? This is this is a new concept. This is something new that nobody. I mean, there's only one person doing it this way, and even her is experimenting with this. So it's not going to be perfect, no matter which way you look at it. But I love the way. Like I just don't like the way. Hmm. Let me think. It's not going to work to do it, and it's too late to put magnet on it, and it wouldn't. The magnets wouldn't hold anyway. Uh, Wendy, send me what? Link? Oh, the the Amazon link. Okay.
Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Okay, thank you. She's talking about the, uh, it's a magnetic wrist holder. Hey, Wendy, do you want to join us here on StreamYard? I can send you the link. Well, you know what? Maybe eventually it'll just allegate it down. Now I got to figure out this page. But for the future ones, I'll know better. Okay, why won't it? Okay. So for the future ones, I will fix it so that it's got that quarter of an inch. It'll have it, it won't alligate it won't alligator open like this. Okay. All right. So now hmm. Oh, I got an idea here. Hold on. Because now I've got let's see. So we've got this one still to use, and this one we can still use. Now, so looking at my pictures, okay, so looking at the pictures, she's got this one, this one, that one. We've got these two, and we've got these two. Yeah, and this one's an extra, I think. I think. Yeah, this one didn't get used. Okay, that one got used. So, which means I got to use that one. This one got used. All right, so these two, and these two. Okay, and then we got these two. Okay, so let's leave those two aside because I just think that's just. All right, so let's see here. That one. That these two go with that one. That's what it was with these two. And then these ones here. Okay. I think I'm going to go with that one right there. And then do I have any more big ones? I got this one. I got to still use. one here. Yeah. I think I like this one right in the middle. Just one picture right there. And then I think I'm going to use that one on the other side. All right. Okay, now with this one. Yes, yeah, it no, not nine hours. She is uh, fourteen hours ahead of us. So it is yeah, about five AM for her. See, I'm almost thinking I don't need the Disney paper behind it. Okay, 
I actually got another idea here. All right, so we're going to keep this. And we're going to keep... Keep these two, because I need to go... One of them's got to go a quarter of an inch. Emily says don't cover up the castle. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking too. So that's All those right. two. Okay, so need two more sheets. So I need to. Point seven five by seven fifty, I think. Marina, Miss Wendy uh, says the minute, big... minute, just a minute, just give me a minute. Ten point seven five. Hold on. Sorry, what were you saying, Vanessa? Miss Wendy says that picture with a um, flower behind it. The picture the rose with the rose shape, tree. If you have it. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, ju just one minute, Wendy. I, I'm, I've got a couple of other things in mind. Okay, so... I think this is the smaller one, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's still too big. Is it, too, is it okay for the height? It's okay for the height. It still has to go. Okay, that's what's going on here. There we go. Now we got it to go right. Something a little bit more muted.
paste the red on top of it. This is the one I was looking for. That. This one. There. Hey, Marina. Yeah. Emily and Miss Wendy both say the one with the ro red rose in the right hand corner. I think they're talking about the border. The one with the red flower in the right hand corner says Emily. This one? Em, the one with the chicken on it? It's not a chicken, it's a bird. Oh. Okay. Yes, she said. Okay, but. Then you gotta go. Okay, you can go these two. Cause you gotta go something with the opposite. All right, so then you're going to go, one side's going to go with this, like that. And then the other side's going to go with the, this one. No, I don't like this. The other side's going to go like this. Because the light background of the picture makes the red flower stand out. And Miss Wendy says, Fussy cut the bird and leave 
the bulk of the background red. the bird you're you're talking fussy cut this bird over here like this so in other words you're gonna fussy cut the bird and put him in the corner and then put the picture on the red like that okay but then what are you gonna mount Miss Wendy says yes. I know what she's talking about. I'm just not sure I like it. What about... I'm, all, I'm liking everything, like... I'm liking going... Okay, let me show you something else. Let me show you something else first before you say yes or no. Okay, so what's this one? This one is... All right, so seven and a half by... Seven and a half by ten and a half. All right, so I'm thinking, do it like this. And it screwed up a bit, but no big deal. Okay. And then, hold on. Hold on. All right. Yes.
How does that look? And then, but I think the picture needs to be mounted on red. I think it needs to be mounted on red. Yeah. They both like it. Yeah, because you, you want to, you that's the idea. Like, I kind of had an idea of what they meant to put the board, bird, but it needed a background to begin with. So it needed some of the... Um, Yeah, see? There you go. I'm not sure if I should mount. I don't think I need to mount this. I just think I need to go like this. What oxide are you using? Uh, Age Mahogany. Oh. Um, Carol took a look at the colors, and this is the one she recommended, and I agreed with her after I started using it. It works perfectly because it picks up the colors. It's like a pink orange, a pink, pinkish red. Mm-hmm. It makes the colors pop, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see? It's making it white and black pop. Yeah, see, like when you look at it, you can barely see it, but it's enough that it defines. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to do this one first.
Miss Wendy says, yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> What's that cartoon character that always says, yep, 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 yep? Yeah, she'll have to tell you that. I got no clue. I don't remember his name. There we go. Wow, that is just. That is pretty. That just popped that picture, and it's so beautiful. Now she had a tiny red rose put on the, right, the left-hand upper corner. Yeah. There you go. Emily says, wow, I love it. Don't make her cry again today. I'm not sure about this. I'm almost thinking it's too small. It needs something big. Fussy cut a rose. I didn't say that. No, it's too small. Yeah, fussy cut a rose off of one of the pieces of paper. Mm. No, just, 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 hang on. Do one of the flowers you were making for Valentine's. Oh, yeah, because I think these ones are two dimensional. Okay, I see what you're saying. Hang on a minute. Um, This is why you never you you always keep scraps. No, it's not done yet.
там it's like a yellow like a yellow green hmm Miss Wendy says cut uh plus she cut a rose out of the paper with a pine cone Hang on a minute, Miss uh, Wendy. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but no, I'm not gonna leave them just red like that. Just, just give me a minute to build it up. You'll see what I'm thought, what I'm gonna do. It just, it takes time for me to, to get to. Actually, no. Hold on. This one's better. Uh, yeah, it's um, it it's called it's by Craftmates, and last year as I said it in my last one of the lives. Anyway, um, last year I believe Class Act had put a whole bunch of sequences had put 
these on sale. These little things on sale. And I don't know if you can see them, but they're like little sequences. She had put them on sale for 99 cents a bag. So I had grabbed about every color she had. Plus, you know, every time you go into Michael's and stuff, they have all these things on sale. Um, anyways, I was in Michael's at one of the locations that were far away. And they had this organizer on clearance for 10 bucks. This was the only one they had. And I was like, I'm grabbing it. It's like 50 bucks. I think it's like 30 or 40 bucks normal. And I love it because I put all my little things in it for all the different uh, pieces. Yeah, you could probably get it on Amazon. It's called Craft Baits, and they make them in all sorts of different um, widths and stuff like that. Okay, so this is the idea. So you're going to start with those three. Then you're going to put, do that one in the middle like that. Then this one, this may or may not work. I may have to go back and may have to make a smaller flower for in the middle. These flowers might be too big. Yeah, they are too big. Okay, so let's try doing this a different way. Let's put these ones in here, like that. Like that. And I think the gold might not work. I may have to go back to the red. Should have kept the red out. Yeah, that'll work. I think. No, the gold is fading out on it. What do you guys think? I'll show you. Hold on. You know what? Better yet, I'm going to get one of the reds back and then show you and let you guys choose the difference because I think it's going to need the red. I think the gold is fading out on it. Yeah, see? Okay. Let me show you the differences. All right. What do you guys think? Which looks better, the red or the gold? I'm thinking the red. Yeah, I'm thinking the red too. Yeah. All right. Now... Okay, now somewhere in my mess, okay, here they are. All right, so let's do this. So we're going to do, I'm going to make this one flat. And I know there's a way of making this pop and make it a bit higher and more dimensional. And yeah, I might do that later. I might go into my... Um, heartfelt memory, uh, for healthier, uh, heartfelt creation stuff and make her some roses. But yeah, I'm not in the mood to do it right now. That's a whole different ball game on its own. Now, you want to use the pop dots. And this is where the pop dots are going to come in. You want to pop it up just a tiny bit.
you know, it's funny. I stopped smoking in November and a lot of my stuff, when I open it up, like just like this, when I opened it up, it still smells like smoke. You get that whiff. I'm like, ah. Oh. Then it's like wanting me to have a cigarette. Yeah. And I can hear you guys, don't do it, don't do it, don't have a cigarette. There. See? And you can see it. It's just a little bit of a dimension. Okay, so these three here, I'm going to put it back in its case while those will dry. Because you're thinking, you know, why waste three perfectly good circles? So now going back, just going to push everything to the side here. Unfortunately, it takes a while for our glitter glue on some things to dry. Once it's dry, it's stuck there forever. But getting it to dry, yeah, that's a totally different story on that. There we go. Okay. Now. Okay. Let's put these to the side here for a minute. Bring the page back out. One's got to go on top of here. That. some of these other colors here. Yeah, it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's put those ones temporarily down. Because that's what's bugging me.
Mm, no, needs a couple of more of the greens. Yeah, it's going to need maybe two more. There you go. So that's the whole page put together. So just to recap, that is going to be, and I'm going to find something to put, he, put here. It's going to need uh, probably something um, with the Disney font that says true love or something like that. I don't know yet. Because, I don't know. Miss Wendy said, looks good. Emery says, gorgeous. Oh, I got an extra. Let's see where I can put this one. Let's see if it'll go. No, I don't think this one needs it. What do you think? Do you guys like the love on here like that? Or I think it's too big.
with the true love on there. All right. To figure out something on the other side. And again, anything that you see that I'm using, you can pretty much order it from Class Act. This, however, these letters, um, this thing here, I don't know if it could still be ordered because it was from um, Casey and Company, and it's quite a year. It's from my own stash. Yep, I think we are done for today. And tomorrow we will work on the opposite page. But for today, it is now done. So this is the front page and you open it up. And there's the inside. So it gives her a chance she has her writing. And I'll find some flowers and something. Maybe I'll, I'll do the same thing I did over here and I'll put it over there. Similar type of idea. But I want to wait till this is completely dry before I do it. But I won't, and I won't make it popped up. I might just make it just the three flowers and do the bouquet over here as well. But maybe slightly different flowers too. And that's basically it. So that will now go into the book. And then just a recap, because I don't know if you saw it, Wendy. That's the first page. And it says the love story of Emily and James Lee. And you open it up and there we go. So that's the first part. And it says XO, it's the kissing booth. And it says kissing booth, only 25 cents per smooch. Fuck her up. And then smooch over here. And then on the bottom, it just says the four, the pictures. And then these are the days we'll remember. And it's from the same stash that I had. Um, this one says admit one kissing booth, valid for one kiss. So it wasn't very expensive. <laughs> 25 cents per kiss, ah, you can amount to quite a bit. And so there, and then, so again, so that one then goes into the book. It goes like this. And so when it goes, it's going to be like that. And there you go. So that's the first page is now done. And when you open it, you just put your hand underneath and move it across. There you go. I think it came out amazing. I love it. So that's it. First page is now done. So, and it'll eventually, we'll also have the, um, the cover all decorated and stuff like that as well, too. I just have to get to, um, um, I need some more fabric tack because as you saw, I'm out of it. So Friday, I'll go get the fabric tack. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are just over 
almost three hours, but I am done for tonight. Um, <laughs> Emily, don't cry. You'll be fine. Don't cry. And uh, tomorrow we'll continue on with the next page. And uh, and then it's going to be the next set of pictures are going to be the engagement picture. But I'm thinking that's probably not going to be until next week because um, I still have to print those all off and I have to figure out the layouts in order for me to print because I don't want to print and then have to print again. I only have like five sheets of matte photo paper left. And um, there's quite a bit. There's about 300 pictures on that one. And I want to do to do it justice. And I want to figure out the layouts first before I do it. Not do a blind lay layout like I've been doing today. Because this was kind of. And I thank you, everybody. Wendy, Emily, Vanessa, everybody that helped me put this all together. It's really, really nice to have people coming in and just chatting and helping me figure out the layouts. So I am going to say goodbye and stay safe and thank you very very much bye everybody, bye, everybody.